Hi everyone. Today in this video, I am going to talk about omega-3 acid ethyl esters which are given as fish oil capsules. Fish oil capsule is a soft gelatin capsule that consists of unsaturated fatty acids derived from the fish oil and it mainly contains omega-3 fatty acids given in the form of ethyl esters. And this fish oil capsule is available under the brand name Lovaja, which mainly consists of two important omega-3 acids. The first one is EPA, icosapentaenoic acid, and second one is DHA, docosahexanoic acid. These are the two important omega-3 fatty acids that are packed in the fish oil capsule. And particularly these unsaturated fatty acids are proved to be useful in the conditions like elevated levels of triglycerides. Normally triglycerides pose less risk to cardiovascular complications. But when these triglyceride levels are excessively increased, they can also precipitate various types of cardiovascular complications. Since triglycerides can be converted into cholesterol and they can also affect the different types of fatty metabolism and fatty acid derived cellular activities. Conditions with high levels of triglyceride should be properly treated. When the triglyceride levels are less than 150 mg per deciliter, it is considered as optimal level. But due to changes in the diet, the triglyceride levels may be increased. In few of the people, because of any smoking habits or family history or due to any other risk factors, these triglyceride levels are excessively increased greater than 500 mg per deciliter which increase the severe risk of cardiovascular complications. So in such patients with high levels of triglycerides, this fish oil capsule can be given, but it should not replace any other medication or diet that is required to control the triglycerides and cholesterol. So fish oil capsules are useful as supplements along with proper diet control and exercise. They can be prescribed to reduce the high levels of triglycerides. And these fish oil capsules are soft gelatin capsules with 1 gram of the omega-3 acids in each capsules which are packed as ethyl esters. Fish oil is having so many health benefits. One of the important component present in this fish oil is the icosapentaenoic acid which is commonly known as EPA. Here we can find two terms within this name. The first part of the name is the icosa and the second part of the name is the pentaenoic acid. So this is the structure of icosa pentaenoic acid. The prefix icosa indicates that it is having the 20 carbons. If we give the numbering, we can start the numbering from carboxylic acid. This is one and we can continue the numbering like this and we can observe that it is having 20 carbon chain. So it's called as icosa derivative. And it is having so many double bonds, so it's called as unsaturated fatty acids. Within this structure, we can observe the five double bonds, so that's why it is having the suffix pentaenoic acid. Since it is having more number of double bonds, we can add the prefix poly, so it is a polyunsaturated fatty acid, commonly known as PUFA. These polyunsaturated fatty acids are having so many health benefits, they can protect the neuronal activity. They can increase the adaptive immunity. Importantly, they are having antioxidant activity which can reduce the oxidative stress and any free radical damage. In this way, polyunsaturated fatty acids can produce various health benefits on the cellular activities. So this is the one of the component in the fish oil EPA and another component is the docosahexanoic acid which is called as DHA. So here the prefix is the docosa. That means it is having the 22 carbon chain. So this is the structure of doxahexanoic acid. Let us give the numbering. So we can identify the 22 carbons within the chain. Again this compound having the multiple double bonds. And here we can identify the 6 double bonds. So it's called as hexaenoic acid. So doxahexaenoic acid is another polyunsaturated fatty acid. That again produce antioxidant activity and improves the immunity and protects the neuronal activity. So these two components are highly rich in the fish oil capsule. So today in this video we are going to discuss how this fish oil capsule acts, what are the important precautions while taking this supplement, how it should be taken, what is the dose and what are the important side effects. All these things 
we will discuss in this video. First of all, let us see how this supplement acts. The exact mechanism by which this omega-3 acid ethyl esters works in the body is still not clear. But at the cellular level, they can definitely produce effect on the liver, particularly at the fatty acid metabolism. From the liver, VLDL is going to be produced, which is rich in the triglycerides. Now, omega-3 acid ethyl esters can inhibit the production of VLDL from the liver. So by decreased VLDL production, the triglyceride levels can be reduced. This is the one mechanism by which VLDL levels are reduced by fish oil capsule. And another effect may be observed on the lipolysis of triglycerides. The triglycerides can be converted into free fatty acids, which is increased by omega-3 fatty acids. Apart from these two actions, fish oil can also affect the synthesis of triglycerides. Diacylglycerol is the immediate precursor for the triglyceride. This diacylglycerol can be converted into triacylglycerol by one of the enzyme DGAT. Diacylglycerol acyl transferase. This enzyme produces the transfer of acyl group to the diacylglycerol so that it is going to be converted into triacylglycerol. The diacylglycerol or simply DAG can interact with this enzyme so that it is going to be converted into triacylglycerol. This fatty acid synthesis is again blocked by fish oil capsule. The omega-3 acids within this fish oil capsule can block this diacylglycerol SL transferase enzyme activity. So when this enzyme is blocked, the synthesis of triglycerol is reduced. In this way, the elevated levels of triglycerides can be reduced by fish oil capsule. By all these activities, fish oil proved useful in those patients with elevated levels of triglycerides greater than 500 milligrams per deciliter. Now let us see the precautions of fish oil capsule. Omega-3 acid ethyl esters are derived from the fish oil. Different types of fish can be used in order to produce the fish oil. And all the omega-3 acids are going to be converted into ethyl esters and they are packed into these capsules. So each capsule contains a mixture of omega-3 fatty acids derived from different types of fish. So in those people who are having some allergy to the fish, Again, these omega-3 acid ethyl ester capsules can produce allergic reactions. So in such people, these capsules may induce skin rashes, urticaria, even itching and irritation. So if these symptoms are developed in the people, immediately the use of fish oil capsule should be avoided as it may lead to severe hypersensitive reactions. Even this is a rare condition observed only in few of the people, particularly in the group of people who are allergic to the fish, these hypersensitive reactions can be observed. And the important precaution is in the people with hepatic impairment. In those patients, because of any hepatic impairment, liver enzyme levels are elevated. So we can observe elevated levels of ALT, alanine transaminase, and elevated levels of AST, aspartate transaminase, which indicate some hepatic impairment and reduced hepatic functionality. In such people, omega-3 acid capsule should be carefully given because these capsules may further increase the ALT levels as well as AST levels, which may further impair the hepatic functionality. And sometimes these capsules may elevate the ALT levels without any change in the AST levels. So they can alter the levels of liver enzymes within the body. That's why in such people, fish oil capsule should be carefully given. Since these capsules are highly metabolized within the liver, they can produce some impairment of the liver and they can elevate the liver enzymes. All we have seen that omega-3 acid ethyl esters can reduce the triglyceride levels, but what is their effect on the cholesterol? Quite opposite to our expectation, these omega-3 fatty acids are going to elevate the LDL cholesterol, so even they reduce triglycerides but they may increase the risk of elevated levels of LDL cholesterol. So in those people with any other risk factors like severe hypertension, elevated levels of cholesterol, type 2 diabetes, in such conditions these capsules should be carefully given as they increase the levels of LDL cholesterol which should be closely monitored. Normally the optimal levels of LDL fall less than 100 milligrams per deciliter and in few of the people the LDL levels may be increased less than 130 milligrams per deciliter. 
but when they are above 130 milligrams per deciliter they increase the risk of atherosclerosis and associated cardiovascular complications that's why whenever these fish oil capsules are given ldl cholesterol level should be regularly monitored and in case of any excessive elevation of ldl levels the use of these capsules should be avoided and the precaution is in the people with atrial fibrillation in such people the use of omega-3 acid ethyl esters may increase the risk of atrial fibrillation it can increase the frequency of attacks so it may precipitate either atrial fibrillation or paroxysmal attacks can be increased even it can induce the atrial flutter any of these situations may be elevated with use of fish oil capsules so in the patients with atrial fibrillation these capsules should be carefully used now let us see the side effects of fish oil capsule the important side effects are mainly related with gastrointestinal side effects so use of fish oil may produce erectation resulting in burping since fish oil is not easily digestible it can produce some gastric erectation similarly it can produce some indigestion constipation and even it can induce the taste changes so patients who are using the fish oil can have some fishy odor and change the perception of taste which can be observed during the entire therapy other side effects mainly include skin rashes because of any allergic reactions development of nausea and vomiting because of any odor produced by fish oil capsules and even it can produce some urticaria and itching sensation because of allergic reactions how it is given as we have discussed it is given as a soft gelatin capsule each capsule is having one gram of omega-3 fatty acids in the form of their ethyl esters the recommended dose of fish oil is around four grams given per day it can be given as a single dose or divided doses so four capsules can be given as a single dose once daily otherwise two capsules can be given as twice daily in order to avoid any gastrointestinal side effects it can be given as a divided doses and this capsule should be swallowed completely and should not be broken it should not be chewed and it should not be crushed as omega-3 fatty acids are captured within the capsule form which reduce the unpleasant taste and gastrointestinal side effects so that's all about this fish oil capsules which contains omega-3 acid ethyl esters so that's all about this supplement hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please subscribe to our channel share this video with your friends post your comments in the comment box thank you for watching this video